You know, if you look at this morning's sermon title, it's called Hiding. And I, I think that I'm not alone in this, that we all can relate to hiding, right? We've hit a lot of things, haven't we, in our lives. You know, if I look back, if we all look back, and when we first started using it, I think uh, many might um, relate to, I mean, I started using so that I could socialize, mm -hmm. so that maybe I could come out of hiding. So that I could open up and I could maybe hang out with the guys on the corner and be part of a, a group. You know, I started using so that I could come out of whatever it was that I felt that I was in so that I could interact with people in a way, uh, you know, 12, 13 years old. Um, and it was kind of cool at first, right? But by the age of 14, here I am using on a regular basis, you know, and kind of feeling ashamed about that, right? So that reason for using had kind of turned the tables a little bit because now I find myself hiding when I use. You know, on the way to school, go to the woods and then not even make it to school because I'm wasted in the woods. You know, hiding from those around me, going to the bar trying to fit in, but I gotta have a bottle outside because there's no way I could just sit at the bar. I couldn't pay that to what I needed to put, you know? I, I, even, I even remember looking back and thinking, you know, at an early age, you know, that tolerance, oh, I got a high tolerance. You know, how come you gotta do, I got a high tolerance, you know, and using that as an excuse to put more into my system. Um, and I found myself doing a whole lot of that hide. Am I alone? Do we not hide bottles? We hide from our, from those that care about us. We we hide, hide our arms. Mm -hmm. um, so we know a little bit about hiding, but I don't want to talk about that negative side of it this morning. We're gonna take. We're gonna talk about hiding in God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, Hallelujah. there's a scripture reference that says we should hide God's word in our heart. Now that doesn't mean to put it there so nobody can see it. It means to put it there to keep it, like Sean in it in, in this morning. Mm -hmm. yes, to be able to recite that whole long scripture, mm -hmm. you know he has it, not only in his head to remember it, but in his heart, mm -hmm. so that when things come up during the day, mm -hmm. you know, that would cause us to run away and hide, he can pull that out and be yeah. strong. Yes, yes. So well, we want to look at it that way today, all right? Let's yeah. pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for being here with us this morning. Lord, it's obvious. Your spirit moving in here is obvious. I just pray, Lord, that each person here recognizes that yes. and reaches out. As you speak to our hearts and our minds, Lord, I pray that the words just aren't coming in our ears, yes. that they're registering, that we comprehend what it is you're talking to us about, mm -hmm. that we recognize it as truth, and we recognize that it is from you. It's the information that we need in order to, to get out of the old self. Yes, Lord. To get on the path that you've laid out for us or to stay on that path, Lord. Yes, you will speak to our hearts and meet our needs now. Yes, Father. Help us, Lord, to accept that and, and receive that and to use it, to put it to use, <laughs> applying it to our lives, Lord. I pray, Father, that as you speak to my heart, Lord, and my mind, that you give me the words that I need for my life. But most of all, Lord, right, right now, that you speak through me. Yes. Yes. The words that we all need to hear this morning. Very important. We need you, Lord. Our lives, our history has proven that we need you. Help us, Father, to accept you this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Oh, there's a whole lot of scripture here. Again, we know what it's like to hide, right? We can relate to hiding. We hide from our families. We hide from our friends. And most of all, it would seem because we turn our backs on God and we try to go the opposite way that he's talking to us about. We know when we do things that are wrong. So we also try to hide from God. Mm. Yeah. We think, you know, if, if we deny him and we get away from him, we don't have to follow the things that we know 
right in his eyes. We can do whatever we want. It's pretty much what we see in the culture today, you know. Uh, we, we see it on TV. We see it in the world. We see all these things going on, and we figured, hey, if they can do it. Mm. But we know that it's not in line with God's will for our lives. We come into a place like this to seek help, and God has given us those 12 steps. And if we truly look at the 12 steps, it says that we have to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God. So we have to then get in line with his will for our lives, which is not all this stuff that we see in this world. Yes, all right. sir. Yes, sir. But it's still there. It's still there, you know, and we, we get in our heads and we rationalize and we justify our behaviors and it's, it's just a sickness. Mm -hmm. It's all part of the same addictive, active, active addiction. I mean, really, if we come in here and think that we can still participate mm -hmm. in all the things that are part of our active addiction, we're really lost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on now. We're really lost. We can't hide from God. God speaks to our hearts. Mm -hmm. He tells us the things that need to change. We read about them in his word. Mm -hmm. And we read about the victories mm -hmm. All right. that we can, oh, we can be a part of that. We can overcome yeah. any wall we can scale, any obstacle we can knock yeah. down. Yeah. 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 But yet we still want to build those walls mm -hmm. and place those obstacles in front of us. David was a man that liked to build his own obstacles. The story of Beth, Bathsheba, is it, right? Where he, as this ruler, looks out and sees this beautiful woman and really schemes, right? Because this woman's husband was part of his army, so, he, you know, hey, I know what I'll do. First, I'll try to... I'll try to trick him because he slept with her and got her pregnant. You know? yeah, yeah. I'll try to. I'll give him. I'll give him a vacation. I'll give him. And uh, he's got to stay with his wife that way, and he'll, he'll get her pregnant, and they'll never find out. Mm. Right? Sounds like kind of this crazy stuff we do. Yeah. And that didn't work. So what do he do? He sends them out into battle where he knew he'd end up being killed. Sure sure. So he had this beautiful woman's husband killed so that he could have her. But yet we still read in God's word that David was a man that God loved. Mm -hmm. So the things that we have done in our past, no matter how bad we think they are, right. because some of us truly do beat ourselves up so much yeah. that we think that we're not yeah. Well, yeah. capable of receiving God's forgiveness. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. That God is not going to love us mm -hmm. because of the things that we have done. See, that's a lie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's a lie. Yeah. There's nothing that you have done on this planet that would keep you from God's love if you surrender yourselves to him. First and foremost, you need to know that. You need to know that. So David here is acknowledging his love for God, for what God has done in his life, for what God has brought him out of, you know, all of these people out to get him. You read enemies. He had tons of them. It says here, David sang this song to the Lord after the Lord had rescued him from all his enemies and from Saul. These are the words he sang. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my savior. My God is my rock in whom I find protection. Yeah. There you go. Not some woman, not nice clothes, not even a group, not even a counselor, but God is my rock in whom I find protection. So first and foremost, God needs to be above everything else in my life. I need to hide myself in him. I need to draw so close to him. Right? that I'm protected from everything else. That everything else around me can be in my face, it can be there, but I am in God. I am strong and I am protected. He is my rock and my fortress and my savior. He is my shield and strength. 
He is the strength of my salvation. So not only is he gives me the strength every day to overcome the temptation, he is my salvation. Mm -hmm. He is my deliverer. Yes, he brought me out of that That's old right. self yes. and put me here so that yes. I can become that which he created me to do. And that is not just me. Mm -hmm. I'm saying me. You. He has brought you here so that you can be in his protection, so that you can be in his strength, so that you can receive from him everything you need, never to be that person that you used to be. Because apparently you don't want to be that person or you wouldn't be here in the first place. Are we honest with ourselves? He is my strength, my salvation, my stronghold. Mm -hmm. He is that fortress. I get in him, and I can't be attacked. Mm -hmm. As long as I stay in him. Yeah. Yeah. I will call on the Lord who is worthy of praise, mm -hmm. for he saves me from my enemies. He saves me from myself. I got so much stuff going on up here. Wow. All I got to do is separate myself from God, spend a little bit of time up here, and where am I? Ah, so where are you? I'm my own worst enemy. The grave wrapped its ropes around me. Death itself stared me in the face. I always say, man, God has blessed us with this breath that we have. Mm -hmm. I know I'm not the only one that had to be brought back to life. Hallelujah. Physically. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let alone spiritually. Hallelujah. We are miracles that we're still breathing. Yeah. Thank you. The grave wrapped its ropes around me. Death itself stared me in the face. But in my distress, what did I do? <sighs> Lord, help me, please. Lord, get me out of this. Yes. Help me. I don't want to be this person anymore. Yes. I don't want to live this life anymore. Yes. Deliver me. Yes. That foxhole prayer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. He heard my cry from his sanctuary. My cry reached his ears. My cry reached his ears. Then the earth quaked and trembled. The fountains of heaven shook. They quaked because of his anger. Smoke poured from his nostrils. Fierce flames leaped out of his mouth. Glowing coals of flames poured from him. He opened the heavens and came down. Dark storm clouds were beneath his feet. Mounted on a mighty angel, he flew, soaring on the high wings of the wind, he shrouded himself in darkness, veiled his approach with dense rain clouds. A great brightness shone before him, and bolts of lightning blazed forth. The Lord thundered from heaven. The Most High gave a mighty shout. He shot, he shot his arrows and scattered his enemies. His lightning flashed, and they were confused. Then. The command of the Lord and his blast of his breath, the bottom of the sea could be seen and the fountains of the earth were laid bare. Well, I wish it was that exciting for me as I laid on the sidewalk <coughs> saying, God help me. God help me. But it wasn't any less amazing when I cried out in a bed and detox and just yelled, God help me. Yeah, yeah. And I, he was able to set me up on a path and get me a bus ticket. It wasn't less, any less amazing than what I just read. Mm -hmm. When I was on that bus going to the center and I said, God, please this time, I just, I'm submitting my whole life to you. Yeah. I surrender everything that I am to you. Hallelujah. And I felt that. Yes. Hallelujah. It wasn't any less amazing than what I just read. And when I kneeled on my bed, when I got to that center and said, Lord, please come into my heart as my personal savior. I don't ever want to be the person I was. 
it wasn't any less amazing than what I just read. Because when we cry out to God, and we ask Him for deliverance, and we can accept then what He gave us, which is His Son, Christ Jesus, it might not be mighty lightning bolts shooting down from the sky, but it's no less amazing. That it is amazing that we have an opportunity to completely surrender our will to our Creator and then allow Him to come in and give us the help that we need, the direction that we need, and the strength to carry it out. When we use Him, when we put Him up, when He is our fortress and we hide in Him, there is nothing. There is nothing that will get in the way of us. He reached down from heaven and rescued me. He drew me out of deep waters. He delivered me from my powerful enemies, from those who hated me and were too strong for me. Yeah. Yeah. Were we ever, you wouldn't be here if we were able to stop using it on our own, right? Yes, sir. Is that an enemy? Yeah. Yes. They attack me at every moment. Mm -hmm. Stuff that goes on up here. I was weakest, but the Lord upheld me. He led me to a safe, a place of safety. <laughs> he rescued me because he delights in me. The Lord rewarded me for doing right. Yes, he compensated me because of my innocence. Hmm. For I have kept the ways of the Lord. And I pray that we do. I pray that we do. We seek through prayer and meditation to do what? We come to God in prayer, and hopefully you do every day, throughout your day, and we seek from Him what? Guidance. Knowledge Guidance. of His will for our lives, the power to carry it out. We want to improve our conscious contact. Again, I say I always add constant, because it needs to be constant, because the world's at constant attack. That's right. This is a constant attack if we're not communicating with him and in a relationship with him and spending time in his word, all of the things <clears throat> are attacking us at once sometimes. So we need to be strong. So we need to have a constant, conscious contact with God, praying only for the knowledge of his will for our lives and the power to carry it out. Because everything else that is needed, he will supply. Yeah. First and foremost, we need to be in that close personal relationship with him. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, do we worry about getting a job when we complete the program? <laughs> yep. And we got to do the footwork on that, and that's something we can pray about. Yeah, yeah. Do we worry about having to go before the judge and him saying, sorry, but you got six months, or you got a year? Yes, we're going to worry about that. We should be in prayer about that. Yeah. But first and foremost, above everything else, is our relationship with him. So we need to be praying for that relationship. So that we might come into and maintain that constant, conscious contact with God. In the past, we used our addiction as a hiding place when life became overwhelming. And I started out with that, didn't I? Out. At first it started to be fun, but then it really became that hiding place. Now that we are in recovery, life can at times feel even more overwhelming. We'll need a place of refuge to escape the storms and find protection. King David experienced many battles, and he said of God, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my Savior, and my God is my rock in whom I find protection. He is my shield, the strength of my salvation, and my stronghold, my high tower. I will call on the Lord who is worthy of praise, for he saves me from my enemies. The waves of death surround me. The floods of destruction swept over me. The grave wrapped its ropes around me. Death itself stared me in the face. But in my distress, in my distress I cried out to the Lord. Yes, I called to my God for help. He heard me from his sanctuary. My cry reached his ears. He is my shield. He is a shield for all who look to him for protection. For all who look to him for protection. For who is God except the Lord? Who but our God is a solid rock? God is my strong fortress. 
-hmm. He has made my way safe. Yeah. Yeah. There will always be times when we feel the need for a safe place. Mm -hmm. The need to run and hide. God can be that hiding place. Yeah. When, we're, when we were in distress, surrounded by waves of death in our old life of sin, we call on God for help. He heard our cries and brought us to a place of safety. He's always there, ready to shield and protect us whenever we call on him. Whenever we call on him. He is always there and ready to protect us whenever we call on him. God can deliver us. God can maintain our walk. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. But we have to call out to him yeah. so that we might receive the deliverance, <clears throat> the direction, mm -hmm. and the strength that we need. Yeah. Substances didn't shield us and protect us, mm -hmm. but God can. Yeah. We have to make the choice whether we're going to allow God or we're going to go back to this and end up back where we were. That's our choice this morning. And we're going to go into our time of prayer, and I want you to think about that as we do. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you. I thank you again, Father, for your presence here with us this morning. I thank you, Lord, because we can overcome all of it. We were close to death. Mm -hmm. Real close, yeah. many of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you brought us here this morning for a reason. Mm -hmm. Each one of us, whether we did so verbally with our lips, have cried out, help me! Yes, yeah. And whether we recognized we were crying out to you, our creator, we did, and you heard us. Yes, Lord. Thank you. And you brought us here so that you might help us. Thank you. So, Lord, I pray first that you help us mm -hmm. <laughs> to accept your help. Help us, Lord, this morning. Touch our hearts and our minds in a way that we know this is real. That the words that we just heard, Lord, are not just sounding good, but they are truth. They are real. That you are the creator of all things. And just as you showed favor and, and you, you helped him through, and, and you, you even though he turned his back on you and sinned greatly, Lord, you still love David. Help us, Lord, this morning to experience that love. Help us, Father. You showed your great love for us by giving us your Son, Christ Jesus. Help us, Lord, to experience that love this morning. Help us to recognize that we are sinners and there's nothing we can do to save ourselves but to accept your plan of salvation. To accept Christ into our hearts as our personal Savior. To die of our old self as he died on the cross, Lord. To put behind us our old self, repenting, never wanting to go back, Lord. We humble ourselves before you now. And accept Christ into our hearts as our personal Savior. Father, I thank you because now we are lifted up. You've set us on a firm foundation. From this moment forward, Lord, we can be in line with your will if we just every day mm -hmm. seek seek surrender and seek to hide in you yes. our fortress temptation is real and it's still there yes, sir. it still bears in our face yeah. and we see it sparkling and we want to give into it the the thoughts that go through our minds about our old behaviors tempting us to go back lord i pray father that you give us the strength that we need each day. Yes, Lord. And as you speak to our hearts through your Holy Spirit, as you are now, mm. yeah. Jesus promised us the Counselor, the, the, the Holy Spirit that yeah. guides us, Lord. And as you speak to us now through your Holy Spirit, Lord, I pray that we recognize the things that we need to do, the things that we need to change, the things that need to be removed, or the things that need to be added so that we can become closer and, and stronger to you and in you.
again, Lord, I just thank you that we have this opportunity, that we have this breath. Yes, Lord. Yes, sir. Go ahead. I pray, Lord, that we don't waste this opportunity. That we come into this relationship with you and then maintain that relationship with you, seeking only the knowledge of your will for our lives and the power to carry it out and allowing you to bless us as we go. I thank you for that opportunity this day, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.